leaders of your organization to your teammates, there's a lot on the line in this first monthly final. Absolutely, and we're going to kick things off as we have done on the previous series all the time. It is, of course, Layer Cake, and we're playing Bouncy. Give me a big old slice of that Layer Cake trait. I'm ready to gobble it up. SK Gaming and PSG Esports moving in with an early lead from Twisty Twig, grabbing that center star. Coop to Ace almost goes down. He'll be forced to retreat now, and that's going to be a nice early game lead for SK. One star is enough to dictate the control and make sure the PSG have to go on the... Oh! Twisty Twig threads the needle's eye and finds Kobe Ace on the back. Beautiful kill there, and that's going to give them a 3-0 star lead in the first minute of gameplay. Oppressive firepower from YDE, sending in a super now. He grabs the kill on Real Ice, oh, and man. the kill, the kill number two on Coupe Ace. Can they get the triple? Skyrex trying to find that kill with the Jordan. So close oh. to nailing it, but he's just <laughs> out of range after blowing out that cut. Again, Twisty Twig. Oh my goodness. This Chucky. has been the most explosive start to a bounty match ever in this uh, day of competition, Trid. Well, look at that. Twisty Twig just nailing Kudi Ace in the middle again. He's being out sniped on every occasion right now. It's so hard to keep up with Jordan. He's gonna find his rockets be true and let the rain fall from the sky to clear out some of this cover. Now Skyrix has to play further back or risk taking these shots just like Kudi Ace is doing. Wow, Jordan really set fire to the rain and got that kill he was so desperately looking for. But with another snipe there, YDE pulling that star lead ahead even further for SK Gaming. Nice snipe from Coop Ace, but he hasn't gotten the kill that he's been looking for. Can they get another one on the board? Only 17 seconds left. And they don't have to look for kills, Woody. It's all on PSG to go on the hunt for them. If they can find YDE, they can really close the gap fast. They just need to get a couple of kills where it's Twisty Twix seems to be the target. 280 HP, YDE cornered. Kudi Ace is going to find him. Brings him up to 9. 13 oh. stars as YDE finds a return kill. Popping from Kudi Ace. Oh. Keeps him safe. But it's still going to be SK Gaming walking away with the first game win. At the bottom, that was almost a drawn game. Don't count PSG Esports out. They have still got a leg in this fight. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to be jumping into the second second game of Legends. And fortunately for PSG, they're going to hang on to this one more time. We're not seeing much uh, in terms of swap outs here. We're still going to have Tick, Piper, and Brock in this layer cake map. I do like that they sent Twisty Twist into the right hand lane to try and get the double dose of damage, but Kudi Ace wow. able to blow him up there. Tick mine and also a shot from the Piper able to finish that one off. So really does go back to bite him in a freestyle lead for PSG early. Grabbing the star in the center. Oh, but a nice comeback there. Twisty Twist killing Jordan, and they're going to get a chance now to grab the center control of this map. Still a one star advantage for PSG but SK Gaming is looking a bit more powerful as we go into the mid-game. Well, they have map control as well. They're really pushing the fight in to uh, PSG's spawn room right now. Gonna keep firing down the damage. They have a slight deficit, only one star between them, one kill. We'll swing it back in anyone's favor. We'll start to build out that PSG. Lane. Unrelenting bombs falling all over the PSG side of the map. YDE just providing a uh, shock and awe campaign to support this push. On that right side of the map, though, it's a bit more evenly placed. No coverage for either of these teams to claim. PSG going to claim uh, that star advantage still, but holding on for dear life. Jordan going way far down, and Coop to Ace not too much healthy either. This could be the chance for Skyrix uh, to get that kill he's been looking for. Popping shots off. He's getting some great incendiary damage. YD has the head first as well. They tag one member of PSG. They can throw that super in, and if it's not taken care of, they will find another kill. Rely holding on back as strong as he can, but he's starting to get bombs dropped right on his face. There's nowhere left to retreat. And he's in the head first. Woody is going into the left. He has to throw out his own to counter it. And so, oh my goodness. Finds the shot. Kudi Ace answers back immediately and maintains the lead for PSG. The return fire and PSG holding strong in their spawn. Look to claim victory in game number three. Can they tie up this set? Jordan defending as best he can. Falls back into the bushes. He's not going down easily. He recovers. Snipe. Oh, but Jordan turns it back around. His parting gift, granting PSG another kill and secures them the game. And are looking to dethrone SK Gaming. Look at this initial kill for Twisted Twit. Finds the snipe on the left-hand side. And again, finds him in the back left corner. YDE didn't even have to get that kill. Can we for once get a set or get a match 
that goes beyond three sets. I'm begging you, <laughs> this is the match to do it. Well, that was the story that got set up by Clash. They took out a 3-0 set score in both their first and second match. It looked like SK Gaming was set up well to do the same, but PSG Esports is not going to go down without a fight. And at least now we've seen uh, a very close matchup. Neither team willing to go for that star in the center of the map, both playing super conservative. Mr. Trick goes forward. Tanks him down to 615 from the shot from Piper. Through the ace, the combo coming in from Jordan finds the only kill. They walk forward, they'll get themselves a star to boot. Three-star lead for PSG. Exactly what PSG Esports was hoping for. And look at that Piper Super knocking down a lot of the bushes in the center of the map there. And the same and again. rock. Wow. Goodness. Immediately follows up with its own... Oh my destruction. goodness. And again. This man that needs to stop. Destruction. Blind shot into the bush. Through the ace has to retreat now. So that pressure has been relieved. A nice few shots there from Twisty Twig, but not able to get a kill. At least he's able to push PSG back up into their side of the map. They'll gain a little bit of ground control here. 48 HP for Twisty Twig. That was so wow. close to being another kill in Kudie Ace and another star above his name. He's on target, but he doesn't have the range. Oh, beautiful dodge there with the pop in. Make sure he won't go down to Skyrix Rockets and gets him back to that all needed safety, but it has so much control. Here comes uh -oh. the head first on the hunt for Rely. And it will force him to take cover as Skyrix gets the first kill. Fair oh, Gaming, wow. and again, claims the oh, star my the goodness. E Gets the team kill and swings it in favor of SK Gaming. Slam the door on PSG. They had the lead, but they can't make it through the finish line just yet. SK Gaming back with a vengeance. Pull ahead nine to seven, and they are not gonna give a single inch of this playing field without a fight. PSG that heavy does. on the attack, but can't get the kill. The defense will hold. It is is a brick wall, Trid. And it's just been collapsed on them. PSG trying all as much as they can to get those additional stars, but SK Gaming plays the defense perfectly and even gets in a few jabs of counterattack on the way out to seal the deal. They huffed, Trid, they puffed, <laughs> but they could not blow the SK Gaming house down. And here's the replays of what's going on there. That Skyrex picking up those kills on the coup de ace and on the back out of that, YDE landing his tick mine and Twisty Twig going for the 360 no scope with the pop in. Lands and immediately takes that shot on the tick. Gives himself the extra stars just to get to a height where my fist could get above your head. Well, hey, if they give you a box, it might work. <laughs> You're appealing the curtain a little bit too far right now. The people aren't supposed to know about the box, but then they're supposed to know about this game, Woody. Want a double swoosh. Gem grab on your screens right now, and the maxes are in play. Pam coming in for Jordan as well on FPSG. Yeah, we'd seen Pam already in this gym grab setup before. Got pretty decent value. Actually, both teams were playing Pam uh, in the past. As soon as that healing turret gets set up, it's real difficult to push back beefy brawlers like Pam. Able to take down the gym carrier there, but both of those gyms going to stay on the PSG side of the map. Twisty Twig making a sneaky little stab in here, though. Takes down Jordan, but isn't going to be able to steal any gyms. Because of the arc of those cards, the gravity pulls in rely, and Mash basically guarantees that kill then. But same story. Kills, no gems. A healing shade for Tara going to help out the team and try to keep her alive. Nice survivability bonus there to try to keep pace against Jordan's healing turret. It's going to be a 6-2 gem lead right now for SK Gaming, looking dominant in game number one. Rudy Ace goes to point blank range, takes out Skyrex. Thankfully, he's not the gem carrier uh -oh. right now. Why? Uh -oh. Sneaky push from Pam Excellent. out the left side is not rewarded. I don't know if that was the right play, Woody. The two of you were on a point blank range in the enemy territory with no hope of getting the gems out. Well, we had the advantage of knowing where these brawlers are, but hidden Very in true. the bushes, they yeah. didn't know it was going to be a 2v1 like that. Just like Predator. Yes. It's going to be making noises, just luring them into the bush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nine gems for SK Gaming. They need just one more. On the other side, though, PSG does have center control of the map. Oh! Gem carrier, YDE is down, and PSG on the retreat with all the gems to claim. You gotta watch out, Tara's in the mist, and when she comes out with that stacked deck, able to hit you nice and hard right at point blank range, guarantees that damage. Ten gems sitting on Kudiace alone, and there's no hope of coming back from that one. For that clutch performance, let's check out this replay once again as SK Gaming falls in this first game against PSG Esports. Just look at that, Kudiace point blank range. You gotta remember, Tara's cards are our hawkiness with that one. I just think they didn't pay enough respect to the Tara hiding in the sandstorm. You know, like I said, it could literally be anywhere in that region. If you're walking at point blank range, Tara is gonna be lethal. Sometimes you get nine gems and you just want to play it really safe. Just wait for the opportune moment to grab that tenth one. But PSG was unwilling to give them that opportunity, playing very aggressively and pushing up right into their face. 
Jim Carrier, Whitey, now on with Sandy, gonna get that kill. Jordan barely escapes. Now they got the invisibility through the ace, using the gravity, spawning his clone. He's gonna be feeding him that yum 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 yum, delicious health. Yum 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 yum. Nice healing from both Rely and Coup de Ace and uh, from Jordan as well. This is a triple heal comp from PSG, able to keep their uh, brawlers up and at them, even with a ton of damage coming on in. And now they're gonna press forward again. Gem advantage in favor of SK Gaming, currently sitting on five. You just Jordan can't goes kill any on the left PSG side. Brawlers. Too he easy. Fell prey to the exact same mistake he made last time on the left side, in the left swoosh, if you will, and runs into two to die. But hey, if you're gonna lose a brawler, sending a Pam in is not the worst move. You might get a great kill, you know, in really close range. Sometimes you get taken down, but PSG is willing to take that risk. Jordan able to grab that kill in the left side, and a coup from Coop to Ace grabbing that kill on the center. Oh. Can he get the final kill? He doesn't need to. Oh, the claim Ooh. just came back actually, so Skyrix thankfully. Wow. Ended that timer. PSG just managed to swing it above on a plus 10 and immediately lost it straight after SK came back swinging. It's going to be an absolute mirror of what we saw in the last match. It's now PSG holding on to nine gems with and SK the gravity of center control. Laid on toe! Look at the damage coming in from SK, but they can't get the gems. They're too cautious about going into that territory. They can feed those back in at leisure to the P members of PSG. Now, if PSG grabs just one more gym, they'll have all 10, but SK Gaming is getting very close to tying it back up. And if they get all 10, they won't be able to keep the countdown going if SK Gaming is able to tie it back up. But they put all the gems onto Sandy. Skyrix has got aggressive now. The Pam being forward as Kudiace will go down to 200. Oh! Oh, gravity comes in! And just like gravity, it is inevitable that SK Gaming will pick up the gems and start to go on the retreat. Five seconds remain, and they will tie out the set. Swing in the hammer, drop the guillotine. PSG has been knocked back, and SK Gaming are looking to take this set after all. To go. Let's have a look at some replays before oh. we jump into game number three. The damage from the gravity combos have been absolutely incredible coming out from the tower on both sides of the team. They've been picking up clutch kills whenever they've needed to. Like a black hole. Yes, because they need to be encouraged to do that more. Oh, yes, they? of course they do. <laughs> Double swoosh game three. SK Gaming versus PSG. First gem packed up by YD. We rely. Just holding off to the side. Doesn't want to take the bait yet. Skyrix will trade some damage out for his hardship of grabbing that gem. But SK Gaming seems to have control despite the spawner pushing them towards PSG. Ooh, nice pressure here from Jordan once again. Not always getting rewarded in these sneaky stabs out on the left side field, but Pan getting some nice damage here and giving Rely a chance to grab some gems in the center. PSG and SK neck and neck in this tiebreaker game. Mama's Kiss being quite useful for Skyrex and the rest of SK. Able to heal up when he takes damage from the Mama's opposing kiss. team. Mama's, Mama's, Mama's hug. G give her a hug. Mama's it. kiss. Mama's oh. hug. Oh, all right. We'll give it. We'll allow it. Same thing. It's affection from Mama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Skyrex going to press back forward again. Rely now using Pam's turret and hiding around getting that heal in the brush. They do have a slight gem lead. This very passive in comparison to previous rounds, Woody. Yeah, very slow. It seems that this is kind of what happens when you get to that 1-1 one, one set score. Uh, both SK Gaming and PSG playing very conservatively, not looking to give up an easy early win to their opponents. Uh, and it's, it seems like this game's been pretty slow. They just so caught far. Jordan on the left hand side with the gravity. It. That opens up a man advantage if they want to press forward now, but they have to be very cautious of these turrets. Skyrix is really using the angles. Oh. I'm getting away from the train. Whitey goes in. He gets oh! caught by the gravity on the back end. Those gems are up for grabs, and they're all going on to Skyrix right now as PSG are on the hunt for the victory, and Skyrix will not get out, but the gems will be clipped by SK Gaming. Barely able to hold on to those gems. A risky play from the SK Gaming team almost rewarded but then almost shut completely down psg pursuing their opponents and finally getting that shot here we go coop days throws out a super doesn't hit yde but almost finishes him off will he chase he will wow he's, back. he's against the backboard on the fadeaway will get the cards but can't claim the gems 10 in favor of psg so sk don't have the time to claim their own they have to finish off rely who's sitting on 10 by himself if they do not get that kill, there is no way they're going to be walking away with this one. And they just cannot get through the onslaught. They cannot run the gauntlet. And PSG are between these teams. My, this, this old man's heart just started to beat again, Woody. <laughs> brought life back into it by the prospect of going beyond three sets in a series. My goodness. Well, you better get your pants. Bolonomics? The Bolt Economy. It's all about the Boltonomics. Okay. Boltonomics it is. It was all about the Boltonomics, as Woody has just coined.
about getting hold of those bolts at the right time. Because you can get an early level 3 siege bolt, but maybe you want to hold on to find yourself getting a level 7. Maybe you can get both if you're good enough. SK Gaming surely want to as they have that early bolt lead. Two in the pocket already. Looking for a fur, but Cuvier's going to pick that one up. I don't think Twisty Twitch will claim it in time. Level 3 Siege Bot going to be running straight into PSG's base to kick things off. One of the quickest Pam Supers I've ever seen in a game. And Jordan still doesn't have his Super up. Skyrix absolutely dominant in that early game. And it's going to be rewarded by that big old level 3 Siege Bot. Gonna tank a lot of the damage, but YD is not getting close enough to cause it. There we go, a little bit of damage from the magic puffs. And then we're gonna force back out. So a modest 16% damage on that first wave. Very modest. There we go, all right. Yeah, able to get a little bit of damage uh, from that sandy super, just kind of picking away at two days. It's especially helpful when someone's hiding in a bush and they take a little damage and you can kind of peek in to see where they are. Uh, but that sandy super, the rude winds, deals 120 damage, just a little uh, bit of a bonus to help out. And in the chaos, we saw a lot of barrels rolling around in that right side of the map, but in two seconds remaining, looks like that's another siege bot coming in for SK Gaming. Seven to the three bolts of PSG. They're going to storm it down the right-hand side. Dabble goes in with his barrel roll to get nice and close up and coop the ace's face. As Skyrix and the rest of the boys are there. There's all three of them in the area. There's going to be heavy damage sustained onto the Ike if they're not careful. Swinging hard and punching straight onto that Ike. It's now below half hit points. PSG have their final chance to get the last siege. 25 seconds from now, they've got a 5-0 bolt advantage. Can they hang on just long enough? And then if they do, can they get that damage in? Which trick claims one back into the pool. There's the second, potentially the third to try and tie out the bolt. They have 15 seconds remaining. It's a five to three scoreline. But it, looking, it looks very much like PSG will be the ones to get the final siege with eight seconds remaining. It's all about how much damage they could do with that bot as to whether they will walk away with the first game Woody because it's eight to five they said in Dow to do more damage to try and to get it below 41 percent the margin of success just got higher for SK PSG not finding many lucky spawns with those final bolts and we've got 15 seconds left for them to get that Ike down below 41 percent that's what they got to do if they want to win this match nine seconds left the match is gonna be decided really quick that siege machine has finally oh, made oh, it in three, punching away two, can he do it oh uh, no just shy of it. The 41% health on PSG will claim it. SK, amazing job to juggle the aggro from the Siege bot there until basically, I don't think the Siege bot touched the Ike until it was about 30% HP, really cutting down that damage time that PSG had. It's also really crucial to try to keep uh, that Siege machine damage coming in on Brawlers as long as you can. Uh, yeah, and as you noted... Got super low before it finally got some shots off on that Ike. A, a set for the first time. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, a PSG. What am I talking about? I'm getting lost here, Woody. I got confused for a second. So let's get a map and uh, find our bearings once again. <laughs> it's going to be a draw right now to start things off with. We saw a, a Frank pick earlier in the Siege matchup, but it actually didn't play out. Looks like finally Twisty Twig is going to get a chance to show us what a hammer can do. Smashes in and takes down Sandy. That's going to be a 2-1 brawl lead, and they will be able to hold the spot. Despite that, though, PSG, yeah. they get the first four bot with level three. It's true. They're going to walk forward here, but they're holding the line quite forward right now. They're going to get the respawn just in time, so it's a good strategy from YD. Make sure he really maximizes the time his team has to mount the defense here. Already got it down to 40%. Great hold by SK. That's right, Trade. A forceful rebuke from the SK gaming team. They've only taken 4% damage on their Ike, and they have that 3 bolt advantage. So I got to say, it's pretty evenly matched up right now. We do have a healing turret for PSG to try to hold on to the center of the map. But wow, some nice rolls in there from Daryl. Not quite able to take down Coop to Ace, but it's getting awfully tight now. Three bolts on the side of SK, but it seems to be PSG are getting control of the wow. kill. Joe Riley taking down Twisty Twitch as well. So that's the second kill on that last engagement. They have 100% control of the bolts. They're certainly going to be having another bot run down to SK Gaming's base. And Rely just doing his best to keep that bolt score even so that they don't fall behind. Even with another bot coming in, it's still a 3-3 draw. Just consistent pressure from this PSG team. Even if they're not getting much damage in, it's enough to keep ahead of their opponents and try to get this series tied up. They're going to play very conservatively, Trid. None of them going in to attack that Ike. Just content to hold on to those three bots and keep mid-control of this map. It's the next Siege bot that'll win the game. Absolutely, Woody. I couldn't agree more as they're going to move forward now. Twist quick. YD and Skyrix moves in with the battle rolls, tries to get on top of the healing turret to open up the fight, knowing that there won't be that additional health regen, but Skyrix will still lose his fight. PSG have dominated that engagement, maintain mid-control, and look to build up their bolt economy.
And that's going to be it. SK Gaming doing their best to hold on and keep these Siege bots at bay. But PSG sending in the third and final one. A quick roll in there from a snappy Daryl does get the PSG Ike down to 90%. But it should be pretty easy to finish off. If it's a good, if it's a good defense mounted by SK Gaming, they could oh, wow. still get away with this one. We look at Father Bot can't get it. Coudier goes in to try to deal damage. 92 to 89%. If they don't damage this a little bit more, they won't walk away from it. 91% to 89 oh! With 1% in it, PSG Esports will tie out the set. Wow, a 1% lead. Just a single shot from that Daryl shotgun makes the difference, Trid. And in this game, it is played to the inch. You can't give away any extra damage, and PSG have been vindicated in getting that third and final siege bot, hammering the last nail in the SK coffin for that game. Game number three, another tiebreaker to seal the deal for this third set. Good Which team will pull on. ahead? They both have one set win so far, so this is really gonna swing momentum hard now, Trid. Early dominance from SK, despite that, Kudix is gonna get away with the second bolt. Tries to get a fur, but he will delay the capture of SK. This might be a draw to begin with until Jordan picks that up. Oh, he didn't capture it in time, so that means that level two siege bot coming in. But SK do have a good head start on their own bolt count. Yeah, sneaky siege bot in here from PSG. SK Gaming will hold on to three bolts, but it looks like midfield advantage will be held by PSG. They're just gonna sit back for a little while and heal up. Expect to see this Pam turret come out soon to keep these uh, brawlers all topped off as they try to grab the second round of bolts. There goes Barrel going in from Dow immediately. Has the lie answer on that one. They found out wow. Pam on the back one. Well, they found out uh, Sandy on the back right there. So Coudier is going down. And it was those rude sands that got the finishing blow. He almost escaped, but at double uh, digit hit points, just barely enough to finish him off. YDE with that super is able to get the bolt lead now for SK Gaming up to five to four. Will it be out again? Hold on. Going to be two seconds remaining. He's going to catch the last bolt again. PSG. They Sneak out the level six siege, but a good defense from SK does put them in a good position to turn it back around with the last siege. They've already got a three versus one man advantage. The bot is 90% HP whereas before it enters the base. It's not looking good for SK. Will SK Gaming ever get a siege bot? That is the question on our minds right now. We're waiting and haven't seen one from them in a very long time. PSG holding on to the center now, but they've got to make up that Boltonomics advantage on the side of SK Gaming. They're grabbing their sixth now, and PSG has got to get three more to catch up. Dyrex is going to get blasted, pimps it in by the team of PSG. They've got seven bolts on the side of SK with 10 seconds remaining. PSG are still keeping up with the bolt count, though. They can just take out YD right now. They can extend it even further, but Kudis actually walks away with that bolt. He had no business doing that. Two seconds remaining. This is going to be a level 10 siege bot coming in for SK. Now we'll never to walk away with this set. Here it comes, level 10 and prepped to decimate. The blue team waiting for their bot to get into range before they make their final attack. 13 seconds left, and this is going to be a walk away win for SK Gaming, grabbing the third set. That's nicely done there. Four seconds remaining. There's no hope of coming back here. SK Gaming. Taking the max score to the one, Woody. I'm excited. We're going to get to see a new game type as we move over to Heist next. That's right, Tree. The first Heist map that we'll see in this monthly final. Take a look at the replay now as we watch SK Gaming able to repel these siege bots, barely taking any damage. Even though they had two bots come in against them, it was that third and final one that delivered the knockout blow. We're going to go for the max. There's an 8-bit there as well. You love to see it, as well as the Rico and Bali. So... Good combination of brawlers being used. Some we haven't seen so far in the monthly finals. Well, I pick an 8-bit. It's going to have a lot of long-range heavy damage. He's got to be careful, though, for those faster brawlers like Twisty Twig playing Max here can really outpace uh, and outdamage if you aren't able to uh, get that hit on her. She moves really fast, and she's hard to target. But, ooh, a nice hit lands there. Twisty Twig barely escapes uh, with his life, but a few points of damage already on the SK Gaming Safe. The line needs to be better at providing that damage onto Twisty Twig if he tries to go around terrain to hit Jordan. Nice reflection there from Skyrix, the ricochet coming in and taking out that damage amplification turret. Looks like Rely has chosen the extra life scar power that's going to bring him back to life after his first death. And uh, here he comes back down for the count, but not out of it. He gets back up again. YDE moving in to try to get some damage on the other side of the map, but that's not going to be enough to tie it up. It's a big advantage for PSG Esports. Watch that safe go down into the 40s, into the 30s. 
Not going to get that kill, though, but Woody, but they have given themselves a definitive lead nice and early into this round. Very well done there. We're going to take it back into single camera mode now as we watch the center of this map uh, be the battleground once again, trying to gain control. Because he took dashes in with his super and is able to get a kill there, knocking back Barley and Max. But at what cost? They're safe down to 20% hit points now and needing a lot of firepower on the other end to even things up. YD playing around his max range on Barley, throws in the last call as well. Will damage Coup the Ace, but also deal some much needed damage to that safe to try and close. Here we go. Down. This but could be a comeback. Quick. He's going in from the side. Max managed to get the damage in. The damage over time. And look at the spray coming in from Rico. Oh! down and SK Gaming pull it back wow down 20% to 60 but they knocked all 60 percentage off in that last push SK Gaming undeniably strong in the first game of this hype setup and there we have it look at the damage coming in for the safe initially there's Max with the speed boost to try and track down Jordan who the ace 96 HP still survives and puts the damage in the wide down fast the King is back at it again, and SK Gaming needing just one more win to clinch this match. And getting that first kill of the game is definitely going to help him get that. It's quick, quick trying to duel that with Rilai, and then Skyrix is here with the Rico. Whoa! Another super right onto the safe and grabbing 12% damage to start things off. Skyrix looking uh, to continue the pressure in the mid lane here. That damage not going to happen. On to Rely, it's gonna help him keep Twisted Twix at bay. Uh -oh. The Trudy Ace moves forward, gonna blast him out. PSG moving in, heavy damage sustained by the safe, dropping it down to 77%. It seems like PSG is, a l is playing a little bit more conservative in this game compared to SK Gaming. They're not quite willing to make that all in play, uh, but they're not really gonna be rewarded much by it. Instead, they're gonna be taking a ton of shots on their own. YDE dropping a super. Now is PSG's time to return fire. Can they get the damage in? A nice super setup by Apit there is able to equalize. SK Gaming barely holding on, but they're falling behind now at 36% health on their safe. Oh, they've got an open safe right now. The damage is coming in. Jordan, if he can deal some more damage to YD, he might get away with the last call. They're going to do it. I think PSG That's it. the set. They just have to hit the shots. Max will do just that. And PSG are kept alive, not only in this set, but in this match by that play. Another super close game. These have been really lightning rounds, Trid. These players not going for the defensive edge much at all. Instead, pressuring very hard and getting rewarded for it this time. SK Gaming not able to deliver the final blow on a 23, 22% health safe in the end. A win here for SK Gaming means they win the match. A win here for PSG means that the field is completely reset on a total equalizer to send us into the final tiebreaker. Absolutely. And no one sustained damage until Coup de Ace volunteers to do so by walking into the pool left behind by Barley's bottle. And now he's caught in a little bit of a between a rock and a hard place, but very low members of SK Gaming. Twitch Twitch going down low, 280. Skyrix as well, but it's actually Coup de Ace first to go down. Oh my god. They wrap it around. They might just it's go a straight base for a base race. race. SK Gaming is far ahead right now. Tria, take a look at this. Down to 40 percentage now, but hold on. They're starting to even things back up here. Not able to get quite as much damage output Rocket yet. Rocket Rain comes in as well. Look at this. The respawn starts to come out. Why do you still here, though? He's just tossing bottles PSG right now. Behind. Water's trying to do the same. They're going to get all in. PSG! Oh! Oh my goodness, PSG have done it! From the jaws of defeat, they once again come back out, swallowed by the whale, but they have made their way into the sea, sailing on to victory. PSG Esports have tied up this match, Trid. I can't believe it. It's like waiting for a bus, Woody. They just, none of them turn up, and then they all turn up at once after. You were up early enough to watch the show here today. If you call it soccer, you're wrong. <laughs> Let's just put that out there straight away. Well, two goals is enough to win it all, or just one and counting out the timer. You can see these barriers are set up here to make it uh, a bit more difficult to get the ball in the goal. Neither team yet gonna grab onto the ball, instead trying to grab control of the middle of the map. Speed boost given over, but nothing really done with it by SK. And so they're gonna try and uh, make sure that they keep it going. Here we go, going in with the spin to win for Jordan. Gonna pick up the kill, and now it's an open field. Nice passing, Jordan, open goal, and that's PSG to kick off this round. Send it straight in. That was a magnificent play from PSG. Uh, almost underwhelming performance from SK Gaming, given how strong they've been playing so far this match, and then just getting team stomped on by PSG. A 3-0 pickup. PSG now holding on to the lead, just have to play it safe for another minute 30, and they'll claim victory.
speed boost, trying to walk it around, find the angle, plays it off the board to free himself up to deal some damage to rely and apply some extra pressure. Also, while they're waiting for Frank to haul his, pull himself up here to get himself against that fence. They still got control of the ball, playing around in the sandstorms. Is gonna have that protective pirouette move forward. Cleans up Skyrix on the back line. Oh. Trying to blow wow. open the cover. He does that, but he couldn't stay alive long enough to get the shot in afterwards. They don't get the shot, but that will be a leg up if they do manage to get the ball back over on the left side of that map. With that barrier down, it's a lot easier to claim victory. PSG looks like they were playing a comp that was designed to win in overtime, not any way to knock down these walls. But nevertheless, it looks like they're gonna do it. Hold on, that, that super from Carl Doesn't is matter. preventing him from picking up the ball. Doesn't matter, he still gets away with it, Woody. PSG pick up game number one. They are one game, they are two goals away from walking away with this match. SK Gaming was single digits away from walking out of this match with a 3-1 victory in Heist. But with their first loss in Brawl Ball now, they're very close to losing the whole thing. PSG Esports is a team that you can never count out. They are coming back with a vengeance and just need to put one more on the board to win it all. Jumping into that concede. A win from PSG is going to really insulate them and ensure that they get to go up against the second seed from the other group. They definitely don't want to go up against Clash, dominant in both of their matches today. Incredibly so. And Swiss Twitch actually exposed himself despite being low, giving away early possession to oh, the no. ace. Doesn't get the angle to have the pass around the corner. Oh, wow. Can Whitey e grab it? Yeah, he wants to try and move through, but Swiss Twitch clears him out. Jordan has control of it. The damage isn't there fast enough, and Jordan walks it in psg take a one goal lead one more gives them the match this could be the final two minutes of sk gaming's meteoric rise and spectacular fall psg esports looking to deliver the final blow here the coup de gras you could call it as coup de ace moves in for the final kill in, a total into domination and it's so clinical psg stop what could have been the juggernauts in the form of sk and they will go 1-0 up in their group currently, and they finish out SK's record with a one-to-one. -one. So well played by PSG. They were behind in the set score, but managed to pull it back in those later games. Look, if you've got an advantage in heist and brawl ball, you really just gotta hold on through those early sets to make it to the end. SK Gaming definitely looking to try to grab that early win here, but not able to pull it off. It's all in the hands of PSG Esports now to try to move on undefeated. They'll be going up against Omen Elite in match number six later today. They just didn't have the damage right there. Someone who has tons of damage though, our host, Falcone. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,